So we're in world... We're in world E, right? Yeah. We've so far done 16 levels. These are usually about 40 episodes, uh, 40 levels each, then E will be the halfway point when it's done. Whoa, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> that feeling when you go through what you think is a wall. <laughs> it's like prey. <laughs> the, the glass is so... The, the ever-present glass walls are such a back and forth where like I'm so used to just not being able to see them when they're when I think they're there that I totally just walked I thought I was gonna just look at look out the window but being a clumsy video game character just kind of walk into the window while looking out of it and then I just walked out and I'm like ah, I'm out here what's happening <laughs> I thought though I thought because it's like you see the rest of the wall and you're like man I got I got I did the opposite of when a Labrador runs through a screen door like, I'd, I'd expected a wall to lean against and went whoop. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much purpose for it. It's just a, well, the purpose that it's a guard, I mean gameplay purposes. Like, it's not, I don't think there's any puzzle out here. It's just, you can walk right out into the garden is, is how this is set up. <laughs> uh, all right. That was about as startling as a puzzle game can be. <laughs> There's only so many chances for to get startled in these kinds of things, and that was one of them. <laughs> uh, one circle. Where's the... There you are. So we have three linears, one toggle, and one mirror. And one power thingy. Ooh, we have two... Two diamonds, two triangles, one X and one circle. So we have four different symbol types. Ah. So the door's over here. One X, two triangles, and two diamonds. There was another symbol, right? A circle? X, diamond, triangle. Triangle, diamond, specifically. So there's the circle. And the circle uh, does something. That's the toggle for just making the toggle work, but that's not related. That's, uh, there's no wire coming out of the circle, so I don't know what the circle does exactly. Let's see. Circle is up there, so let's let's work on just getting that set up so I can know what it does. You know, let's put this one up there, because then I can toggle it. Oh. Wow. That was subtle. No sound effect, no other things. Like, unless I was looking straight at it, I had no idea what happened. How did I miss that? That's interesting. That was probably like here, and I was like, boop. I'm like, ah, what happened? Hmm, nothing looks different. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's nothing was different every time I do it. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, so this whole thing moves in. So that has to be activated. But if it's not activated, then I can't reach that red. But that's the one triangle. Which means that it's only necessary for the middle option. So it, there might be a toggle where toggling opens and, and closes the back wall. Probably not. No. I don't know. Because this goes through to the this goes through the diamond and then goes enables that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> This is going to be an interesting little problem. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm trying to wrap my mind around this one because there's just a lot of things happening at once. A lot of different symbols that I need to kind of figure out what we've been doing with. Uh, where do I want to put the toggle? So one thing is if we dominate this area to make blue, which is a very intuitive path, like go up here through that blue, then that way through both the other blues. I need a path where I also go through the reds. If I go through the reds here, then that problem happens. And these blue and red have to be pressed together in order to get this one, because this one can only be pressed when that one's pressed. Because it's a blue filter, blue always goes in a straight line through it, and red pounces out. What if I just do that on the wall? We probably need to stick with blue being through this beam because there's no way to separate them that sends blue off. Let's get weird. Let's get crazy. Hmm. <laughs> it is a bit of a problem. I was thinking, what if I just bounced it back? And then I can get the, the last red. And it would all be in one go, which would be a little puzzle breaking, because every door would be open at once. Well. But I need my X and my diamond. My triangle. Wait, was triangle not open? X, triangle. No, there's two triangles. Which triangle's messed up? Oh, because red, because orange, purple went through that. Okay. Purple went through that. If I, if I roll you back one, I can just shoot you through that way. Blue, blue, red, red, red. Ah. Blue. But right now, X is the only one that's not open, I think. Yeah. We have two out of two and two out of two. I was gonna say, I'm like distressingly close to solving this as like a one and done thing, which would really break it all. No, I think you are the one that needs to be toggle. Have I already solved it? I'm not sure. Let's just check. Yeah. There's like a whole extra block I didn't even have to use. Gotcha. E2. Panel. There are six linears, one splitter, and one toggle. Huh. There are eight receptacles. Two are... Two are X's, one's a, cir one's a circle, five are triangles. No diamonds. We're abandoning the primary, the default symbol this time. No mirrors. Only s ah, we have two power sources, so they could be switched. Hmm. Six linear, one split, one toggle. Hello, next level. Is it going to output into here? No, that's where I'm getting when I solve this room. What's downstairs? I, th I thought something would be downstairs. Ah, the puzzle bar like goes downstairs? Maybe? Oh god. Boy, does it. Okay. Oh yeah, there it goes. 
So, uh, so something's gonna make that wall come out so that these can actually line up with this. Okay, so we want blue over there, huh? And purple, okay. Okay, so we're not switching the symbols because they've made the red laser shoot directly into a red square on the first accessible, like with that, with no accessible squares in between. So we can't interrupt this beam. So we will always hit this. So this has to be red. <coughs> so we can roll out switching those. I'm just gonna shoot a beam up there for now, for fun. Uh, so all that's down here is one linear. That's it. That's how much we're missing. But oftentimes, whatever they have in the area is what you use on that floor, and switching them and sorting them and reorganizing them often causes bad things. So once again, we have a circle, which I think might be. I think they're going to use that universally to mean wall moving symbol. So there's a consistent syntax because otherwise, there's no connection visibly. It's just kind of a plaque. They just associate eventually with being the wall moving plaque. And once again, blue. Well, it's not shooting directly into it, so this could have been a switch out if it wasn't for the other one. Okay. <clears throat> oh, right, the splitters on the wall. But they might be implying that the best solution involves keeping those on the wall and these on the floor. But that's not always the case. Let's just feel it out. And we'll see what changes. I'm crazy. You'll never know what I'm. You never know what I'm up to. What I'm gonna do? Hmm. Hit. Oh wait, I can just do it from here. Oh, that's great. That's great. I don't even have to go down. This is the point-and-click nature of this current mechanic. I think, oh, I think we're going to need this guy. You can't shoot the purple through the blue because then it makes it not blue anymore. That creates a purple bloom. And the problem with this is that I can't get my other thing. And I need a blue to be going down there. So it seems a bit more likely that maybe this blue is where it splits. Uh, but the blue can't shoot like that either. Because it has to be coming at it, it has to be coming in at a different angle. Right, that angle means it doesn't come down at all. It has to be something more like that. <clears throat> I was thinking about whether or not I can have the blue be coming down and then somehow go through this, then through the blue. Or like through this blue and then through this, but you can't go through the blue. This way leads to the outside, this way leads to red. So you can't go through the blue in any direction without interrupting the red or losing the beam. So I can't like make it wrap back around to come back up here. At the same time, this is a toggle. So I think I just need to better consider what the instances are I can toggle between. We have the five, or the five, the five triangles and the two X's are two separate things. Where are the X's? One X is down there. Okay. <clears throat> well, that red X is not a toggle. That's not part of the toggle solution. Where's the optional X? Here. 
Okay, so the beam being shot through here being a problem is not always a problem. We should go back to the solution where I should just blast it. Because you're going to be toggling something. With this setup, this is blue. But then, like, the purple comes by and spoils it when I'm doing the old... Oh. Triangle solution. So let's focus on the triangle solution. And then we'll check to see if the purple, if the, which one I have to make into a uh, a toggle to make the X solution work. That's probably about it. Hmm. We do need to get a blue down there still. But you need to be a purple. But if I move these here, while the purples are achieved, this blue is not. Hmm. not thinking of right now. Because these are connected. They're good. I need you to be purple. I can't think of a way to make the returning beam purple. Like if I send blue down, I can't think of a way to make it wrap around and go back up where in a way that it touches that because it goes in this angle, it goes outside of bounds, out of bounds, pollutes the red, out of bounds. So I think I need to split it so that one comes all the way down here and one stays up here. <clears throat> It makes more sense for this to be over here because it can hit both purples with the blue but it makes more sense for it to be over here just because if it's here then it goes it goes and pollutes the red but that's an x since that's an x that doesn't matter that's what I'm getting too focused on. But the X doesn't matter. I can ignore the pollution of the X because that's the other configuration. So if I make the toggle be really early in the process, I can turn basically everything off. Except for the blue is already going into this X and the red's already going into that X. So I'm getting stuck on this issue of polluting these things, but they don't matter. I even made it as far as being like, oh yeah, I can just do the purple and it doesn't matter what happens to this X, but I didn't also associate the fact that I can also just ignore that one too. So like this puzzle, this puzzle is more of a practice in what thing, what elements I can just completely ignore. So it should, I think it's solved now. that essentially turns everything off. Well, all oh right, in the corner of the screen. So I have, I have four out of five triangles. Okay, so something's wrong somewhere. So this version is missing a triangle. This one, this triangle is missing. Shit. Oh, because I set it up to purple. These two purples, not the other one. Yeah. If I go back up here, this purple and purple happen. 
Then I need this one to get figured out. Missed something. Okay, so blue has to. Oh, I have one more down here still. Still have one more here that I probably lost track of there. So, going back to what I had before, I'm gonna change something about this. I can't redirect this blue. Have I missed somewhere? I'm having trouble keeping it all in my head at once, I guess. So we need the blue to go through here. But there's only two beams. Because we only have one splitter. And one blue goes down there to die. Except it's not. Because it comes out into a square that's blank. Means I can redirect it through here. And that was it. Okay. There we go. E3. Eight linears, one toggle, four power sources, five diamonds, four X's, one circle. We have five and four in our, in our two versions. So I was, I was super wrong when I thought that the toggle was going to not be such a thing this time around. But they reinvented it into a new flavor so that it's not the same as the last one where you were going left or right. Now it's turning one beam on or off is the new iteration. Oh god, look at all this. <laughs> Alright, so diamonds and X's are my two states. Somewhere there's a circle that does something. There it is. That moves this entire wall. Uh, it appears I need to switch these two, by the way. Based on that, at least. Because in the, in the X solution, I think this is going to be like that. Which means these are going directly into those, so they have to be this beam configuration, I think. I guess there's probably... Hmm. Yeah, that would be the X solution. Because you can't access this wall at all. And there's an X on it. So the X solution frees up these two to be targeted while also having this X that's only accessible via this connection. So for the X solution, circle is also part of the X solution. And then for diamonds, you don't use circle. Because <clears throat> we di during diamonds, these all have to be in beam range. So that's the alternation there. But this X is pretty easy to do. This, this just happens automatically, basically. It just, it basically is just a check that we are, in fact, going into circle mode. It's not even that, it's mostly just a check that you have the beams switched, I guess. <clears throat> Which seems like it always had to be true, because look, sir, that's blue, that's red, that's blue, that's red, like... I think that was an inevitable change, no matter what. So what are, what are we going to do for this one? So we're... Because in the process of activating this, we, we need to already have a purple. And blue is on this row, so it probably has to be sent through there, unless we want to zigzag it and use twice as many resources. Probably makes sense to combine them here.
I mean, that's where it ends up. Yeah, it can't be this because it blocks the red. And it has to reach the circle to make this configuration happen. And we can't go over here because it's out of line. So this is where the alignment is. So this is where we send purple when we're doing this one. Hmm. So some part of this process is going to be a toggle. Maybe this has to be up here. And then we bounce it across. No, this won't be the same beam. It's not going to be the same beam because this is currently red. So that's red and that's blue, so we can't mix those two. Hmm. Who's going to be the toggle? Are you going to be the toggle? Maybe. My uncertainty about where to put the toggle is that I don't have a lot of leeway here. Because if I, if I turn off this block, blue just ends there. And then I can't use blue anywhere else, like there. And the same goes for red. And we have no splitters. We have no splitters, but blue and red are both... Are they? Mm. Uh, so red's required for the X solution, but not the diamond solution. The diamond solution is a blue and a blue. So we can interrupt the red. Shit, was it X and circle are together? X and circle are together. That means during this solution where I have the circle, this has to not be purple. It has to be red in this configuration. So this this uh, this particular pattern has a problem with it. If I go somewhere like this, for example, there's just so much, so many resources being spent. But like, I need the red in this one. Red has to go through here, then up through there. But it also has to be mixed and go here. So somehow the red beam is coming from there. And it's going through this before it mixes. Then it mixes and goes through there and then through there. And I believe it has to be in that order because... It would be really... It would use so many resources to like retrieve it and send it back down or anything. So red has to go through that, then through that. Hmm. And then you would probably be the toggle, because red's not necessary outside of this context. Where's the toggle? No, That's the reset one! Ah, fuck. <laughs> Guess we're starting over. Hopefully this time around I magically come across the solution that I haven't been able to find so far. Alright, uh, let's go find a button to turn this thing on. You definitely start to miss just when I... was it... does it still work? No. Because you used to be able to toggle it. Toggle HUD, that's different. Tutorial, interact, float, float down. Let's float down. Can I hover? Ah, there's one of them. And there was one of them. 
They can't be diagonal because that that's a dead space. This works, and they do have me. They do give me two squares, so I can do a few different bounces. But like something like this, while it accomplishes the first goal, is so sloppy. I've used three blocks already, and I have to use one. I have to use like one, two, three of them just to send them up here. Then a fourth one to send them in the right direction. Like that's why I was trying to solve. You put the blocks on this side to send it through this way. It's you that complicates everything, because we don't have a splitter, right? No. There's no split. Which creates problems for us. Hmm. Let's find out how many resources we have. Let's look at the solution for this guy. See what to do with it. Kind of seems like I need all of them. Uh, except in this solution, I can ignore the X's, so... So no, I don't need all three of them. So this one can take, uh, can come over with me. In this configuration, those both get solved. In this configuration, these are both solved. So I have one extra block now. So there's four more to play with here. Kind of in my way, sir. Uh, that's another X, but we're not in the X configuration, are we? We are in the X configuration. So here we want to solve X, but then when I press this, we want to solve diamond. Troubles visualizing this one. <clears throat> Maybe I need to diagonal you? So now you go through here in this direction. And that gets purpled. How are you getting purpled right now? Oh, it's an infinite loop, so we've, we've broken the puzzle. All right, let's stop cheating. There we go. But at the moment it is purple for real. I'm move you back to here. And, oh. Did I use up my extra block already? I think I did. I think I did. So this gets you up through here. So one more and I could have that redirect to X. And then if I did it right, it might make the beam blue. When I turn it off? Yeah. But at the moment we have five diamonds. I need to finish the X's. We have two X's. Oh, because I've shot you through. Damn it. Oh, uh, there's so much room for things to go wrong in this one all the time. Son of a bitch. Is that the key? 
That's four X's. Five diamonds. There we go. I just need to get the angle right about how this and that were interacting. Because, yeah, we could we just move this. We could just pivot it all. And when it, and when, when blue is getting... When the blue slash purple is being fired up this way, it'll hit this automatically. And I just need the two blocks to redirect it. And so we have it. Ooh. That one got me stuck for a bit. 